Remember to be careful while you're working it at work. Work it at work. Sorry, one more time with the Sure. Oh, Pat. God. Pat, we're never going to get it that good ever again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Terry Reeves, and together we're going to work it at work. We're going to do all of those upper body exercises together in a row. I'll do the full amount of reps with you, and we'll get strong and have fun while we're doing it, never having to leave our workplace. So. First exercise begins like this. You scoot to the edge of your chair. You place your palms down on the chair. You elongate through the spine, shut your abs, and then push off of the chair. So you're squeezing the back of your arms to lift your glutes off the chair. Keep those shoulder blades open as you raise your glutes off that chair. Breathe out as you exert that energy, and then in as you come back down. We're on six reps. We're going again all the way up to 10 on each exercise. So as you fatigue, you guys, your muscles are gonna wanna let go. You gotta put your brain on squeezing them. I believe that's nine, because I'm chatting and counting at the same time, and I think that's 10. So the next exercise is a back fly. You're gonna find something on your desk with a little bit of weight. It could be a stapler, it could be a actual weight that holds down your papers. You're gonna scoot down to the edge of your chair. You're gonna lean forward. You're gonna suck up those abs, elongate through the spine, and then fly like you're a bird. So you're squeezing in between those shoulder blades to make this motion happen. This is two. This is three. This is four. Remember to squeeze those abs even though we're focusing the energy on the muscle in between the shoulder blades. We want to keep those abs squeezing to support our back the whole time. And they'll get stronger the longer you squeeze them. We have one more rep of these. Our next exercise, again, involves something with a little bit of weight. You can pick up whatever, again, on your desk. A stapler, your water bottle, little trinkets and things that are fun and remind you of your family. You're going to elongate through that spine, shut your abs. You're going to curl and then press. So this one focuses on your biceps and then your shoulders. So squeeze those biceps, squeeze the shoulders. That's your third rep. That's your fourth rep. Again, breathing out on the exertion and then breathing in as the arms come down. Six. Seven. Eight. Re-squeeze those abs if you let them go. Nine. Remembering to elongate through that spine. Ten. Next exercise. For this one, we're going to scoot to the edge of our chair. We're going to actually take our glutes off of the chair. Again, elongating through that spinal column, shutting those abs. You can keep your knees bent for this one. We're going to go dipping into our triceps. That's one. If you want to get a little bit more advanced about this exercise, you can straighten those legs. This is three, four, five. You can do this against a desk if you don't have a chair handy or if your chair likes to wobble around. Any hard service. Eight, nine, and ten. We've got one more to go. You can do this with something weighted from your desk or without. So the squeeze, the muscle burn, is going to come from you concentrating on the muscles you're using. So the muscles we did in the back fly, you're going to squeeze those open. You're going to take your arms out like this and then press. That's one, two, three, four. Again, with something heavy if you want. Five, don't forget to breathe. Six, seven, eight. And last one. Good work, you guys. See, you really can work out at work. You didn't have to leave anywhere. You didn't have to put on any gym clothes. You burned some calories. You got that blood flow going. It might even help your concentration when you return back to your work. So I'm Terry Reeves with Work It At Work. I'm a certified personal trainer. I'll take you through other exercises you can do at your desk in other videos. It was great to hang out with you today.